Robert Altman's Nashville is five days in the lives of 24 unforgettable people. That's a lot of characters, so listen closely. Lily Tomlin is a gospel singer who strays just a bit when she has a one-night stand with Keith Carradine, a hot young rock singer. Ned Beatty is her husband who doesn't suspect a thing. Henry Gibson is the number one country and western singer who's being tempted to run for governor. His sidekick, Barbara Baxley, drinks a bit and talks a lot. And his son, Dave Peel, is sort of attracted to Geraldine Chaplin, who plays a star-struck reporter from BBC TV. Ronnie Blakely is the adored singing star on the verge of a breakdown. Alan Garfield is the husband trying to save her life and her career. Scott Glenn is the quiet soldier who worships her from afar. Karen Black is the rival singer who dresses like a sweet little prom queen. But don't let that fool you. Michael Murphy is the campaign manager who'll promise anything, especially to Gwen Wells, a waitress who dreams of being in the spotlight and may have to do a lot of things she never dreamed of to get there. Robert Doki is the one man who tries to tell her the truth. Shelley Duval is the wide-eyed groupie doing what all groupies do so well. Keenan Wynn is the uncle who doesn't understand this wild girl in the sequined hot pants. David Hayward is the sensitive young boy who answers the room for rent sign and who has a big surprise in store for everyone. Christina Raines is the female singer in a trio who's married to one of them, Alan Nichols, but spends a lot of time with the other one. And David Arkin is the chauffeur who knows all the inside stories and is ready to tell them. Timothy Brown is a black singer who's made it, but not everybody is happy about that. Jeff Goldblum is the cycle freak who's everywhere the action is. Barbara Harris is the would-be superstar who's running away from husband Bert Remsen, who's chasing her through the wilds of Nashville. Nashville is about a lot of things and a lot of people. See all 24 of them and the outrageous things they do in Robert Altman's Nashville. <laughs> Robert Altman's Nashville. For movie lovers. The damnedest thing you ever saw.